Hello everyone. This is the fourth video of Power Apps Component Framework series, the PCF series, where I will be talking about how you can re uh, add React JS or any third-party uh, libraries to your PCF component. So this is the fourth part where I will be also using the template uh, of type dataset because in my previous videos, if you have seen the previous video, maybe the part one, part two, and part three. There I demonstrated that how you can use the other template type which is the field type. So let's see and deep dive into this video where I will be uh, telling you how you can use React.js to the PCF component. Before that, uh, we already used this command uh, earlier pack PCF in it to create the solution structure or to create the project of our PCF component. Here, I just wanted to inform you one more thing that pack PCF init, this is the command with all these parameters. So first parameter, we already know namespace, name, hyphen, hyphen, name, hyphen, hyphen, template. Template, we already know that it can take a value either field or data set. Uh, similarly, I told you about hyphen, hyphen, run npm install, which will allow you to auto run the npm install once the control is created. These things I already told you for hyphen hyphen run npm install, you can also use the shortcut which is hyphen hyphen npm. So this will basically install all the node modules once the control is created. Here I want to show you one more new parameter which is introduced which is hyphen hyphen framework. So this defines the rendering, uh, basically the rendering framework for the control. You can give the values as none because none is the default value which means you are trying to create the project using the HTML, but also you can specify the value as React now. So this I will show you in another video. So let's see this now how you can add uh, the uh, React JS to your component. We will be creating a new project using the command. We already know the command now. The command is pack PCF init hyphen namespace. I have given some namespace hyphen N means name, name of my control or the project. In this case, I have given PCF React demo. Hyphen T is the template. You can use hyphen hyphen template. Instead, I have used the shortcut or alias, maybe hyphen T dataset. So this is the first command which we will be uh, using today in this video. And using this command, our basic solution is structured, which you can see here, uh, like demo2 is the folder, the folder in which I ran this command. So in this uh, folder, I just ran this command pack PCF in it namespace, name, and template. This time I'm using the template as data set. In my second video, I created the first PCF component using the field template type. So let's see this in action and we will see all these steps uh, one by one, but let me uh, navigate to the Visual Studio where I will be showcasing you all these steps. So I'm in the Visual Studio code now. This is the Visual Studio code editor. You can see here in the demo2 uh, folder, I have ran this command pack PCF in it, namespace, demo namespace, name, uh, PCF react demo, and template of data set. It went ahead and then it created the project. And after that, I ran the command, npm, uh, npm command I ran, which is uh, required for installing the node modules once the project is created. So manually, I ran this command npm install. Once all this is done, so your basic structure, basic solution structure or the project structure gets created. So this is the first step which you have to implement. You have to run this command pack PCF in it and you have to give the template type as data set. Secondly, now what we have to do is the second step is once the project is generated, we have to install the React, React DOM and maybe the type dependencies, all these things we have to do. So for that, what you can do, you can run the command npm install React and React DOM. This will install the React and React DOM. And at the same, at the same time, you can also use the command npm install hyphen hyphen save dev types. Uh, you are actually installing the type dependency for React and React DOM. So same thing I did, what I did is that I ran these two commands, npm install react react dom, first of all, and then after once this is executed uh, successfully, I ran the command npm install for type dependencies. Once this is done, what you will find in your project, if you navigate to package.json file, if you navigate to your package.json file in the project, you will find that the type dependencies are added in the dev dependencies and similarly some dependencies are added in the package.json file. 
So this is really important to work with React.js in the PCF component. First of all, you have to install all the dependencies. Next step is that you have to create a folder. So generally what I like is to create some components. I create a folder inside the main folder. So I created the folder with the name components. Inside it, I created one uh, file with the name myreactcomponent.tsx. Inside this file, I will be creating my functional component, maybe using some H2 element, some very basic one, uh, just to showcase the demo that how you can create the different components in your project. So here you see, I created the folder components inside this project folder pcf react demo i created a folder you can click on this icon new folder and i created this folder component inside it i created one component file my react component dot tsx here i'm just importing the react and just creating a sample interface and then using the h returning the h2 element with some static text maybe using react and pcf so this is how my component is ready so this component i can definitely import it or use it utilize it in the index.ts file because as we already know that index.ts uh, file is the main file with all the lifecycle methods so let's see the next steps the next steps is that render the react component from index.ts file so this is the most important step that you have to render the react component so whatever component you have created whatever you have written you have to render it from the index.ts file your index.ts file contains all the lifecycle methods for example init get outputs destroy and so on so what we are going to do is that here in the index.ts file, let me navigate to the index.ts file now. Here there is a variable private container HTML div element in the init method. So you see this init method. I am just initializing it this dot container equal to container because this is passed. Uh, you can see this is passed as a parameter container is passed as a parameter to the init method. So I'm just uh, uh, statically initializing it that this dot container equal to container. So we are just setting the value of the private container variable to be the container of the init function to get that as a parameter. And before even this, you have to just import the React, uh, all the React libraries, React and React DOM in index.ts file. Just after this, in the update view method, what you have to do is that you have to use React DOM and React.create element to create and render your component. Your component is my React component or TXX. So here I've used React DOM.render in the update view method. And I'm just creating the element. My React component is the uh, component name, which I already imported it. Uh, initially, I uh, imported the component, the React component, which I created in my React component.tsx file. So these are the steps which we have to follow to use the React. This is a very basic, a very, very basic example. I will say this uh, video is created just for the intention that how you can start using React.js. You can create a components folder. You can start reacting, uh, creating your components, maybe inside this component folder. And that particular React component, a functional component, can be called inside the index.ts file. The last step, just to uh, see the demo and output, whatever we have executed, we will use the command. Uh, we already know npm, npm start watch. So you can run this command and definitely it will execute, initialize, it will generate all the uh, basic files which are required to create the output. That is how we can see the output on the local host. Please remember npm start watch, it will only start uh, show the output or start it on a local host. So that is how you can see the output uh, on the local host on 8181 port using React and PCF. This is the static text which we provided in our React component. So that's all in this video. Uh, thanks for watching my videos, this complete series of PCF. I will highly recommend this is the fourth video. But before watching this video, please go through all the three videos, the part one, part two, and part three. The link of those videos will be available in the description of this video. Till that time, stay tuned and wait for upcoming videos on PCF. Thank you.